Welcome back to East Texas Live on KDK. Joining us now is Anna Barnson and Victoria Benny. They are uh, workers for the client services with the East Texas Crisis Center here to talk about domestic violence and the services they offer to, the, to those in need. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having hey, us. Thank you. Yeah, we're happy to have you guys. So just first off, tell me a little bit about the services that East Texas Crisis Center provides. Yeah, well, we are here at a Tyler, a Wizard Five Counties. We provide a counseling, legal assistance, shelter, and support groups for a, anybody who had been in an abusive relationship, any type of abuse, sexual assault, a, and also anybody who has been a victim of a crime. We are in five counties. It's me, Van Sant, Rains County, Wood County, and Henderson County. Now, I know this is an important month. Can you tell, tell me a little bit about what makes October you know, so special? Yes, so October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So we're here to spread awareness and share some resources for everyone about domestic violence and what you can do if you know someone or if you're experiencing an abusive or unhealthy relationship. Um, it's also LGBTQIA plus history month. And so we want to make everyone aware that abuse can happen in any relationship, regardless of sexual orientation or race or gender, anything like that. And how can people reach out to the East Texas Crisis Center if they just need some help? Uh, our uh, office uh, location here in Tyler, uh, phone number is 903-509-2526. We serve Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 5.30, and we also have a hotline number that is 24-7 that they can reach out is 903-595-5591. We have, of course, our social media. We have our Facebook page, our etcc.org website. We have a chat service as well. If anybody has a questions about anything or about someone that they care about and that is going through abuse. Great, and can you tell me some of those signs uh, that we should look out for when it comes to spotting domestic violence? Yeah, that's a good question. It can look different for, for different relationships, so bear that in mind. But we want to remember that domestic violence is a pattern of manipulative, um, intimidating or coercive behaviors. So it's a pattern. And it can look anything from like extreme jealousy, um, wanting your, your passcodes, your passwords for your social media, getting into your phone, um, any form of physical harm, of course. Uh, it can look like isolation as well, not allowing that person or that partner or that family member to see friends or family or go to work. So it's a lot of controlling and manipulation so that one person has power or control in the relationship. And how can someone help a friend if they are in, a, in an abusive relationship? So the first thing is important is to start by believing. Uh, supporting and emphasizing the most important thing is uh, the safety of that loved one or that friend that we care about. Uh, assisting them to create safety planning if, there, if the violence or the abuse is escalating as becoming physical. Uh, um, of course, providing resources in the community. So in the way, when they are ready to reach out, they will know that they're not alone and there are options around them. Well, thank you both so much, you know, for just bringing awareness to this important month and just helping us know what we can look, look out for. I really appreciate your time.